Well, if you were in a helicopter in an airplane, preferably a Boeing airplane, flying around the central Puget Sound region, um, one of the things I think that would strike somebody is the fact that the one and a half million residents that will be moving to the region over the next 30 years, they're going to live and work within the urban footprint that we have today. So if you're in other places in the U.S., you would expect to see new cities sprawling out further and further from the core of the metropolitan region. We're doing something very different in the Puget Sound region. We're anticipating that the one and a half million residents that will be coming here and, and the hundreds of thousands of jobs will be absorbed within the cities and the urban landscape that's presently in place. And what that means is our communities are gonna change. Uh, you see places like Bellevue that have already transformed over the past 20 years in terms of becoming major job centers. Uh, places like Tacoma, Bremerton, and Everett have really lofty goals to grow into vibrant urban centers. To be able to get there, not only do they need the right zoning and the right transit investments, they also need employers to, to also uh, jump on board and be able to grow jobs in those communities. But we're going to see tons of transformation throughout the region in the next generation. Across the street here is Coleman Dock, the busiest ferry terminal in Washington State. Being completely rebuilt, this is one of the largest transportation projects happening underway right now. Um, it's not only being rebuilt for seismic preparedness, but it's being rebuilt for the future so that we have the proper capacity. And this is just one example of the number of trans investments that are happening throughout the Puget Sound region. Well, one of the things I think we've done right in the Puget Sound region is we don't have a false choice between the environment and the economy. What we've learned is if we have a great environment, if we care about sustainability and we care about doing right by Mother Nature, we also have realized that that's really good for the economy. People like to come to the Puget Sound region because of the trails, the open space, the, the high quality of life. So in that respect, the environment's been one of the major reasons why people and businesses want to be here. Well, one of the things that's unique about our region is how many of our communities are waterfront communities. Uh, I grew up in Polsbo, just a small waterfront community in Kitsap County. Seattle, Everett, Tacoma, Bremerton, communities in between are all waterfront communities on Puget Sound. And that has really created the communities that we live in today. When you're on the water, that is both a barrier, but it's also an opportunity. It's an opportunity for ferry terminals and ferry connections to be built. It's an opportunity to be able to, uh, in the case of downtown Seattle, welcome cruise ships that take people up to Alaska and as a major generator of, of tourist uh, uh, travelers visiting the Puget Sound region. But then when you, when you think about our shipyards, whether they're uh, our shipyards here in, uh, at Vigor in Seattle or down in Tacoma or the shipyards over in Bremerton and, and the naval complex is there and, and in Everett, the waterfront has really created enormous economic opportunities throughout the region. So it brings us together and it's really who we are and we have to be mindful as these communities continue to prosper and we plan for growth that we take in consideration Puget Sound as, as a key factor for, for the growth that, that's going to be coming and how we can ensure that it's done well.